just came inside to a really chill coffee shop. It's called Coffee Alley, having an Americano. Just met one of the local people here, really cool guy, studied in Seattle, and he gave us some really good recommendations on places to see around Tangerang. Um, it's this um, little market, night market called Pasar Lama. We're gonna go check it out later towards dusk, 6 p.m. So I can't wait to show you what it all looks like. I'd stop on the side of the road and try a coconut and some, well, it's a pleasant discovery that I found some banana chips too. That's so good, so crispy, salty. It kind of lost its banana flavor. Well, to prepare me for that long walk through the night market tonight, I decided to get a massage and the best part of this massage was it finally being over. Yeah, that's right. No, in all seriousness, it was a great massage. They use deep tissue, a lot of pressure, and they follow the contours of the body pretty well. Um, that was the best part. And also it didn't feel as rough as a Chinese massage. But the worst part was he got pretty close to the private parts and where the sun don't shine. I felt a little violated. But anyways, I'm getting hungry. Let's go on to the night market and find some good food. I'm feeling awkward. How about you? Well, I've searched far and wide to find the best food street market in Tangerang. Jakarta, and we made it to Pasar Lama, arguably the best food uh, night market in Tangerang. So I'm at the north entrance. This is going to go a long way, so I'm going to show you some food today and some drinks. Here she's shaving some radish for some purpose. Here, some carrot for some purpose. <laughs> So the air is pungent with the smell of radish and carrot. Now here she's making the radish juice. She's stirring everything up, she's pouring some hot water over it, and she's making the juice. She fills up the strainer there. It's for a health boost. It looks like it's for cholesterol or diabetes or any kind of problem like that. like the kids love this one, right? Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I might have found maybe the most disgusting thing on the market is the chicken feet. You know how much I love, I really hate chicken feet. Meatballs, culinary nine, tangerang. <laughs> Yeah, cool shirt. 12 kinds of dim sum. And it must be under here. Can I look? Wow. My name is Henry. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, it all looks so so good so far, but you know, there is, there's so much left to try that I can't possibly start digging in now. This is called Sirat Hijau. It yes. looks like that. All right. Bokir. <laughs> Bokir. He says very delicious. Yes. Oh. <laughs> money, money, money. Potato sticks. Yummy. Interesting way to cook an omelet, I suppose. That's in some bamboo wrapping. What do you think is inside of there, guys? What's inside of it? 
So I found out it's it's tempeh in the egg, and I want to. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this tempeh. Uh, Palembang, Palembang, Indonesia, South Sumatra. Yeah. Uh, it's a lenggang. Lenggang. Uh, traditional food from Palembang. Thank you. Yeah. yeah I think we should. We should uh, try. You can try this. This yeah. is very yummy. Okay. This is from uh, fish, like a fish cake. You know fish cake. Fish cake. Fish cake. Fish cake. Ah. Yeah. Okay, let's try by it. So we get some of that sauce in the spoon. Mm. Strong fish flavor. Crispy on the inside, salty on the inside. How is it? So you put extra sambal on it, the green spice, the green chili. This is hot chili spicy sambal sauce. How is it after that? It's very great to mix up with egg and fish meat. I like it. Cheese! 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 <laughs> I never knew Indonesia has so many avocados. And they're pretty cheap too. Look at the bits of hell right here. Look at, those, look at that coal. Beautiful color, huh? They say this one is like samosa. But I don't know, I just ordered a chicken one. I think there might be some curry in it. I don't know. Satuaja. 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 No. Well, the moment of truth. Is it like a samosa? Let's see. It's spicy and sweet. It's not. There's not really curry. It's chicken, but it's it's more like a snack. It's not. It's okay. This cake is called pukis. It has so much fat and sugar, but it's so delicious. Uh, rice. Long tong. Long tong. Okay. And here's the meat. Uh, right. ayam. Chicken, chicken, chicken steak and goat steak. Sit down and have a try. So this is the goat satay barbecue. And as you see, it's covered in peanut sauce. It's one of my favorite things to eat in Indonesia at the moment. And it's got some grilled onions on top. Look at the gloss and the sweetness. You can probably tell it's very sweet from the camera. It's a little bit charred, grilled. Mm. That is the spot. Usually goat is tough, but this is very tender. It's not stringy, which I really, the spices really mask the flavor of the goat. Some people don't like goat, but to me it's really good. This is about 17.5 thousand rupiah. Well, I am right. This is the most popular market in, in Tangerang. But uh, it's hot, it's sticky, it's so crowded, but I don't even care right now. There's so much good food going on here. Let's keep going and get through it. You can do it. Here we go, some tacos. Let's try. Sambal. Asas. Okay. Well, everyone, I've reached the end of. Uh, what's the name of the street? Well, everybody, everyone, I've reached the end of Pasar Lama, a gigantic street full of market. Well, everybody, I've reached the end of Pasar Lama, the gigantic street food marketplace, and we've seen so much. Until next time, I'm feeling awkward.